Scrabble fans, it's your podcast a go go, and I'm your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush. I've plucked a choice cut from the Chikaratopia buffet table for you today, and it's from one of our very favorite haunts, the Logan Square Auditorium in Chicago, Illinois. There, the unlikely trio of Blaster McMassive, Missile Assault Man, and the proletariat Boar of Moldova go three on three with Heidi Lovelace and NRG. Ahead, one of the most eagerly anticipated matchups of the entire Midwestern Tour. We're going to see a lot of really intriguing championship combinations here over the next couple of days. This is among them. The reigning Campeones de Parejas, NRG, with the current Young Lions Cup champ, Heidi Lovelace. But they're in, uh, against three bruisers. Blaster McMassett, Missile Assault Man, the proletariat boar of Moldova, Bryce. Yes, bruisers, bosses, hosses, call them what you will, but quite the trio stands across the ring. And you heard it before the contest here. They're, they're looking as underdogs, NRG and Heidi, even though they all have these titles. But I mean, when you're across the ring from these three, this Missile Assault Man, the boar and blaster, it's hard not to be an underdog. Just size, power, all the all the experience, uh, all the advantage seemingly in their corner despite all the gold in the Technico corner of the ring. Big chant for our Young Lions Cup champ here. A lot of history between all the players here. Of course, Blaster McMassive, one half of the duo that lost those campeonatos to NRG. Heidi won the Young Lions Cup over the then Missile Assault Ant at last year's season finale. Of course, the board challenged her for that title at King of Trios. NRG picked up a point over the board right here the last time we were in Chicago. So lots of lines drawn between these six competitors. It's going to be really interesting to see how it all plays out. It was, in fact, Blaster that took the pinfall that cost them the titles just four weeks prior. I'm certain he's not forgotten about that. This is not about titles, though. This is a, a straight-up trios match, an exhibition, as it were. Three of our champions on one side of the ring tomorrow night in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Hollow Wicked will join, making it an Atomico of champions. First time ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. An out muscle missile assault man with good luck generator. He is so deceptively powerful. His offense is simply brutal. Two of the fastest rising stars on the roster. Every time they see Missile Assault Man and the Generator Race Jackson, just their stock soars a little better. They've picked up a new trick from being in the ring with a more experienced guy. Two guys definitely to keep an eye on throughout season 15, 16, and beyond. Lot here to Race Jackson. Crank it for all it's worth. Excellent there. Escape by Missile Assault Man, turning a cravat into a, in a modified schoolboy. You don't see that every day. And now no. a waist lock. Deep behind the right knee to make that one work. And you just got to kind of drop your hips low on the mat and hope for the best. He came out with a pinning combination, and now he's found himself in a hammer lock. So he's trying to get inside there. Didn't work. Went behind. Waist lock to Missile Assault Man. See that head turn sideways does not jar his jaw. Smart move by Missile Assault Man. Here comes Heidi Lovelace. Several interactions between these two. Of course, we even saw them against one another in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Not all that long ago. Oh, boy. He's going to ragdoll her back into the corner. Here comes Blaster McMassive. He is the tallest man in the match. Right, all, all of these competitors on the, uh, the, the Blaster Trio, members of different teams. So while they work 
in teams, not with each other. We'll see how that comes into play in this match here. NRG, of course, the, the only two members of these six that are constant partners. Oh. I don't know, complaining to the referee, was that low? P.J. Drummond's in the best position to rule on that one. Heidi up and over there. He's falling beneath the waist lock, so it's gonna be tough to get that sunset flip from there. Right, she doesn't have the leverage. Whoa, Jeez. giant neck hang. Heidi lighting him up, knife edge chop after she knife does edge. does not care, she's chopped down bigger trees. She cannot look blast at McMaster. And one clubbing forearm has changed the complexion of this match. That's how powerful this guy is. When I mean, you take a look at his upper body, it's no secret, right? Tremendous upper body strength has Blaster McMassive. What's he gonna do? Here? Shoulder breaker, maybe? Tell him he's looking at Nope, just tossed him. Jeez. Just tossed him. Heidi's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forcing that tag. And now we see Hype Rockwell in here with the proletariat boar of Moldova. Two bear guys should be an interesting showdown here of power. Shoulders blocked by Hype. Boar barely goes anywhere. Mm. Stalemate, Mike. Yeah, these two Mastodons don't want to give up an inch. You brushed him back there a little Ooh, bit. Just a little too high with that clothesline. Oh, Rockwell was not, though, perfectly poised. Underneath Missile Assault Man he goes. Underneath the elbow as well. Rockwell's a big man with a lot of dexterity. Look at this What's going on here? Hey, now. Look at that. Look at that. Very He's nicely all the way done. Around. Yes, our championship trio showing some great teamwork for their first time as a team. Whoa, those now, generators poised to fly. We've seen this before. He's going to come right off Rockwell's back. No! Oh! Swatted a fly out of midair! Wow, McMassive kept his eye on the action. And now the board quick to seize on that opportunity. That extensive reach of McMassive coming in handy there. Waffling him here in the corner is the boar. In the midsection repeatedly driving the wind out of the generator. He'll scoop him up. He loves the side slam. Going for a little bit of a ride, making him think about it. Drives him to the mat with authority. I uh, hit the left leg, but it wasn't enough for three. The ride with an unfortunate landing and out of the Chicago faithful, some of the most vociferous of the Chikarmi members here in the Windy City. Solidly in the back pocket of NRG and Heidi Loveless. Nicely done. Ace Jackson there just made his partner legal. Ooh, the boar. It stands to reason that our campeone de Parejas would be excellent use of tag team rules, and there you see it. Now the board of the floor, in comes Missile Assault Man. This is the second time Jackson has inadvertently Oof. taken his eye off the action there. Heidi Lovelace. Nobody ever staying oh. there welcome. Oh no, oh no. He's looking to do that missile launcher. He's gonna throw her out of the ring. Woo! Nicely done there. That Heidi. might have been the last we ever saw of Heidi Lovelace. I think you're right. She has no idea what's behind her. It's a, it's a McMassive mountain. This guy. Complete lack of, of respect. Now pressing her up and just. Yes! She seemingly levitated there and ended up on the floor of the Logan Square Auditorium. Maximum wipeout and Blast mm. McMaster, the only one of these six standing. I'll tell you what, he's not afraid to fly himself. I guess he's going to go out to the ring, or outside the ring, try and figure out which opponent he. And no surprise here, he's right. going to isolate Heidi Lovelace. I'm not surprised to see him bully her at all. The missile assault man said, nope, I'll take this one. Saw that moment there, just shoving him out of the way. He, he called Dib seemingly once in there, wants to perhaps uh, finish what he could not back in the finals of Young Lions Cup last December. Yeah. A measure of revenge for missile assault man. If he can take a room here over Heidi Loveless. That has really eluded him since she ascended to the Young Lions Cup. Mm -hmm. Whoa, oh, man. Chop. Always fighting is Heidi. Always fighting. Never her head down. Always, even if she's taking a pounding, very aware of her surroundings at a shows of experience beyond her years. Billy Rock trained her well. Mm -hmm. yep. Prize product of the school of rock in Lafayette, Indiana, is Heidi Lovelace, our Young Lions Cup champ. Wow, she positioned that kick just right. Oh, I thought she was looking for the head scissor of hers. No, she's going to try the reverse. Holding on to the top rope. Jeez, turnbuckle sandwich at a high rate of velocity. And Heidi's probably out. That could be it. He oh knew it. Boy. Hype knew it. 
Yeah, Zing NRG intervened when they did. Heidi Lovelace's eyeballs are rolling mm -hmm. around like a six-sided die right now. Just her neck jarring back upon impact. This assault here. Doesn't take a lot to muscle back the lightest competitor in the match. Here comes Blaster McMassive. I'll tell you what, tagging one bully out for the other. He tags the boar immediately. Curious what they're thinking here. Double Beal. Woo! That could be a real mistake if she got any closer to NRG. Yeah, you saw, I think they thought that mid-flight there, they threw her more up than out because they knew they, 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 the ability they could have thrown out, she could have been in the second row. Great looking elbow drop from the boar. Covering up his opponent here. Managed to pick up a near fall. This fan, uh, the entire Chikarmi in Chicago today is firmly behind Heidi and NRG. To come as no surprise, especially given who they are facing today. Every time we come here, we figure out a way to pack more folks in. Just absolutely super no vacancy on a Friday night in Chicago. Nope. Oh, swung her legs out. He really likes this double knees of his. We've seen him start using over the last couple of months. Goodness. That's a lot of body weight coming down on your guts. We're keeping his eye on the partners of Heidi Lovelace, making sure they're not coming in to interfere with the count. But they are supremely confident in their partner. There's no quitting Heidi, Bryce. Nope, nope, nope. Reaching for the tag. Even after all the punishment, trying, she knows where she's at in the, in the ring. She knows where she's at in the match. Sometimes maybe just maybe just on autopilot of the beating she's been taking, but still, still fight left in the tank of Heidi. Tell you what, he unfolds those European uppercuts with lethal precision. Does missile assault man? Oh, jeez! Low flying lariat. Kick out at one. Tell you what, she's like a fine wristwatch. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Heidi Lovelace up at one. Such tenacity in our young Lions Cup champion. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be the repeating Northern Lights. Big fan of this one. Missile Assault Man loves this. Mm -hmm. Look at That's that. one. The ease with which he executes this here. Flips from that back bridge into the front bridge. No. She had him scouted. Right. Been in the ring together before. And nope. here it's a tag. McMassive. Not the time for miscommunication, boys. No. I'll tell you what's going to backfire on the Rudos right now. They don't keep their eye on Heidi. Blast for the legal man, if I'm not mistaken. He did tag himself. All right. Really taking a lackadaisical approach here. I gotta wonder if they feel like, well, Heidi's the weak link on the team. I think it'd be a real mistake on their part to come to that conclusion. Heidi will surprise you. Now, she's just kind of slumped. A tough time there in the corner is Heidi. Her ribs and midsection have been seeing a lot of punishment throughout this portion of the contest. Those double knees from the board are still fresh on the mind of those uppercuts in the corner. Her body is rocking back and forth. Not to mention the, the weight disadvantage Heidi is at in just about every match she's in. Yes. Ooh, she managed to evade that there. She ducked under those kicks. And Zagiri for the boar. But Missile Assault Man still in play. These guys aren't on the same page, Mike. They're, they're, they're not functioning as a team. And no, I think and I'll tell you what, that sort of thing will cost you the match. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Heidi's really near NRG. Whoa, McMassive came with a head of steam. She's up. Could it be a monkey flip? Ooh. DDT! Ooh. McMassive came down hard there. He kind of crushed the face of Lovelace with all that rotation, all that whip. Not sure got the worst of that. Right, yeah. Heidi was underneath the weight of a heavyweight. Here comes the generator. Look at him go. Soaring through the air. High cross body, and he is fired away. Forearm for the boar. Through the ropes, one of his favorites, making way for Hype Rockwell. His partner was right there. Great tag team continuity from the Campiones. Specialists, tag team specialists. Reversal, boom, train in the corner. Here comes Race. Mm, great looking Stinger Splash. Stinger Splash, absolutely. Boy, look at this. These guys are firing on all cylinders here. Like a fine generator. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There it is, shades of Shawn Michaels. I'll say moon landing followed by the elbow drop and the boar is getting out of there. Again, not operating on the same page, not even reading the same book as this trio here. And look what? at Heidi, dumps him. Took about everything she had, but she was able to do it. Close line over the top rope. Look at this. I'll tell you what, 
Despite the daring combination of Checkered and Plaid, these guys are firing on all cylinders. Heidi Khan Rana. I think it's knockout territory and good night. Missile assault, man. The reigning champs could not be denied in the Logan Square Auditorium.